Tell me how you learn. That's the motto of our video series in which people share their personal experiences, tips and insights on learning. We make mistakes all the time and we're constantly apologizing, but that means that we're able to be open with each other and be ourselves. Hello from Villa Moro in Portugal. Our guest today is Lara dalman Weiss. Lara qualified four weeks ago for the Tokyo Olympics exactly here at this spot. Her sailboat is a 470 ship. She's a passionate visual learner and she is slowly but steadily finding her way into super professional sports. It's a transformative process for her in which she learns all kinds of new and sometimes surprising things. I've changed my body a lot the past three years to be specific for the boat that I sail. And so um, my trainer works with me to learn the mechanics of what I'm doing. And um, a lot of times what he says doesn't always register, but then I'll be working on a skill and maybe a year later, I understand what he was saying. Um, that happens all the time. So now with the perspective being qualified for the Olympics, what has changed for you in your daily, you know, schedule, in your way you perceive things? and. I love sailing with my teammates and just having gratitude every day. Um, that's changed a lot and it makes learning a lot more fun. And then also being a part of Team USA, that's pretty special. Um, just this huge, I've always watched the Olympics on TV and I've always cheered for Team USA and to think that I'm now on the team is incredible. What does it mean personally for you? A lot of it makes me think of my grandfather. Um, he was an Air Force pilot in World War II in the Vietnam War, and um, he was a tennis player and would have gone pro, but then he, he served. And I just feel him with me all the time. So it's, it's amazing. So you work with coaches, trainers, quite a lot. What kind of mistakes would you apologize if they make one? My sailing coach, Robbie, well, he says he doesn't make any mistakes, okay. but I think that's part of the whole dynamic of our team is that we're okay with making mistakes. And so Nikki, my teammate, me and Robbie, we make mistakes all the time and we're constantly apologizing. Um, but that means that we're able to be open with each other and be ourselves. And my coach always says that um, we bring our lives with us. And so we have to be able to be ourselves. We can't hide. And so mm -hmm. being like that um, and in that environment, you're just always mis making mistakes. And that's part of the process. Mm -hmm. And I love that. Making mistakes, learning from the mistakes and moving forward has become a ritual for Lara. The shift from amateur to professional has made her much more confident, comfortable with herself and open. One of her key learning on the way was... You need a lot of time um, because you saw in our boat there's ropes everywhere. So it's <laughs> yeah. highly technical. And so it just the more time we learn, sometimes we just sit for hours in a straight line and just see how fast we can get. Um, but to be able to be fast while sailing and then and then use that on the race course and not think about, am I going fast? That's what makes a good sailor. Um, and then our boat specifically, there's two of us. And so we need to be able to do our different roles on the boat and not have much thought or much talk about it and just be able to act. Mm -hmm. um, so it's, it takes a long time and a special relationship with the, the teammate you sail with. You were saying you like the visual part of the digital. This gives you quite some information for Good your feedback. learning, yeah, yeah, feedback. So which digital format would you say we can skip, get rid of? Okay, that makes me think of two things. Um, I've sailed a lot of bigger boats and uh, people learn how to sail the boat at its top performance by instruments, but they don't necessarily learn the feel of just sailing the boat. 
So they get so in tune with what numbers they're supposed to be using that they don't always just steer the boat and feel the waves. And I think that's a big thing that people miss. Um, just being out in the elements and seeing what feels the best. Um, and then I also think about the social media world and how distracting it is and how people just compete. So especially during the pandemic, when we were sitting at home alone, a lot of the sailors would be showing their workouts online or what they're doing. And it was so easy to compare myself to other people. Um, and I really had to dig deep into my coaches and teammates and just say like, Hey, this isn't a comparison. Don't worry about social media. And yeah, I think we could do away with some of that. <laughs> so you say we can get rid of social media, but you do use it, right? I use You're it. And I, I have a love hate because I think I see where it could be used to make money as an athlete. I see where it can be helpful to learn some different things. But I think when it gets into the like addictive, I have to check what other people are doing every morning and every night. I don't think that's healthy. So when you think about colors, what kind of color would you say suits learning mm. oh wow i think of blue and green because i just think of playing in the waves and the water um but then i also think yellows and reds and oranges because it's just so like fiery and energetic what is your motto for learning i tend to be more of the what's worth doing is worth doing well i'm very thorough um, and that's where Nikki and I balance each other. She jumps right into things. She's always uh, seeing a problem and getting right to the solution. And I step back and I think like, okay, how are we going to do this in a really thorough and, and good quality way? So what is your learning path until the end of July when the Olympics will start? I think of it more as one day at a time. And it's really exciting to me because each day is so different on the water. Um, we always have different conditions. And even if you see a similar condition, we might have a different like perception or feeling that day. Um, so each day is different and it's just kind of what can you take away from that day and how can you enjoy and support your teammates? Um, And I don't see it as like this end date. I just see it as like one day at a time. Thank you, Lara, and all the best for the Olympics. Lara will be in Villamoro for another four weeks to sail the European Championships. Then they will pack the boats and ship them to Tokyo. Lara still doesn't know when she will be allowed to enter Japan. We are sure her grandfather would be proud of her. Thank you for watching our video. See you again in our next episode of Tell Me How You Learn.